have decided to harvest some of this squash. So um, I haven't done a count lately. Let's do a quick count. One, two, this is the Pennsylvania Crookneck Dutch Neck Pumpkin. Three, that one doesn't look so good. That's four. Um, but I figure if I harvest some that are just about ready, they can harden off off the vine. Um, maybe not quite that one. This is one that's coming. Um, and then I've got these ones that are green. And I've been keeping my eye on those because I've never seen them do that. I don't know if they cross with something. Um, I lost count. Six. Um, and then, so yeah, I figure if I harvest some of the ones that are ready, it'll have more energy to give me a second boost of plants. So I'm probably going to take this one. It's... It's not that firm. I'm trying to find one that's firm, and I think it's this smaller one here. Yep, and it's pretty dried up. Like, the fingernail test, I have gloves on, and it's the one that's not making a mark. And it's pretty dried up up here. So I'm going to take it. And then this big monster. It's hard to even get at this one. I don't want to step on any vines. But that thing is huge, and it's pretty close to ready, yeah. And let's focus our energy elsewhere. Here's the base of this mama plant here. So I'm gonna take it here. Oh, that was easy. Oh my gosh. Can't even fit it in the viewfinder. That goes in with today's harvest and I've just been dying to eat these and hungry for winter squash already just because I had some acorn squash and then I got hungrier for it. There's another one over there. Um, there's one of the multicolored ones in there. Here's the smaller one we got. Cute. It's just adorable. And delicious. That one's a little lighter in color, so I might not take that one. It might just be these two. And this one will be soon. So that it can focus on the smaller ones that are coming. That one has a really long neck. And that's the best part, so that's a yummy one. Whew. Well, I'm going to go harvest maybe one more and jump in the pool. So I ended up getting three... And I just think that one is the cutest. It looks like a, almost like a little ipu gourd for Hawaiian for hula and stuff. So it looks like home. And that one's definitely got the biggest snack. But I just wanted to kind of relieve some pressure for the other ones. And I will definitely be eating that. And then this is what I was talking about in my last video. This cucumber was way down by the squash plants. And, you know, just reached, the plant has reached the end of its life almost. So this is what I'm getting. <laughs> But closer to the plant today, I got some really nice straight eights. So these are yummy for snacking on. Um, I love making pickles, but I really also like fresh cucumbers. So these will be decent for that too. That one got a little big and it's kind of doing the neck thing. Hello. So not a bad harvest. And I am going to wait on this one and keep checking the bottom because I don't want anything you know, kind of move it so nothing gets starting to eat the bottom of it. All right, super hot. Again, thank you for watching. Happy growing.
So these are a little softer than, I think this one wasn't fully hard yet, so they're not quite, sometimes they're more like a butternut. These are a little soft, and I'm trying to kind of show you. Um, and that one got crispy, but the taste is really good. And then here's the ones that I cooked upside down, so I've just flipped them over and so yum.